Hi guys, welcome back to episode 9. Is it episode 9 already? Yes. Oh my god. Can you believe that? Yes, I'm so excited, dude. Super excited. I know. They say they say in the podcast world, which this isn't a podcast. Um, we keep saying that, huh? Yeah, it is a podcast. Yeah, podcast slash show, I guess you could say, because... Um, it's a podcast show. <laughs> <laughs> it's a po. <laughs> Ooh, okay, I know what the door is at. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they say in the podcast world that if you make it past 10 episodes, um, you're doing well. Like, it's going to be continuous. Like, yeah. they say some people who start podcasts can't make it past episode five. Really? Yeah, dude. I honestly thought we were on the rocks for a second. I was like, oh, Lord. Like... Well, you and I have been on the rocks. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a nice massage now. I'm kind of, I'm kind of li liking it here. Imagine. <laughs> But yeah, guys, welcome back to episode nine. Happy Monday. I'm your host, Alanti Mateo V. And I'm Ruben Hernandez V. And you're watching Dis Bedheads. Oh, <laughs> I would say Disney Channel, but you went on to Bedheads. Okay, I like that one better. This episode is all about love, fool. <laughs> love yeah. is in the air. Yes. We want to do a quick little apology that we didn't upload last Monday. Last week and that weekend was hectic for us. That's why we kind of prefaced um, in, in, our, in our comeback episode that sometimes we won't post. And uh, it might be like every other week or every Monday because, you know, life does get freaking busy for us. Mm -hmm. um, so we never want to give you guys like, we would never want to like set those expectations of like, you're going to post every single Monday, like expect a video because, you know, like, like shit happens, you know. Um, so we just want to apologize. But we're here. This is the week of love, fool. Uh, is it recording? Yes. Okay, damn. I always freak. Like, that's what my biggest thing is. Like, sometimes I go on a rant and I'll be like, bitch, I didn't even press record. I think every, I think that's every content creator. Is it recording? I know. I think that's everybody's fear. <laughs> Everybody, I swear, everybody's fear is like, oh, are you recording? Yes, dude. Like, I swear, like, I did a whole video and I go back in the footage and you just see, hi, guys. And then I accidentally press it twice. <laughs> and it's like me for literally 30 minutes talking to nobody. And like, slow or slow mo. Oh, my <laughs> God. Oh, so let me tell you about that story really quick. Quick. Uh, for our five days that's it oh okay <laughs> just kidding go for, ahead for our five days of friends miss oh my god the freaking camera scandal lord I'm always in a scandal got Golden Corral got the Pozzola scandal you got the camera scandal <laughs> But we did a, a, a video, we did a bake off with our friends Adam and Lauro. And girl, like we filmed, like the vibes are good. The video was so good. I go to edit the video. Both cameras on the side that were kind of getting like our POVs of like our partners baking and stuff like that. Slow mo. It was three hours of slow mo video. And thank God you guys convinced me not to turn off the main camera to yeah. just keep it going because I, I got the audio. I, I did my editing magic and the video came out. You can't even tell that it was in slow mo. Yeah. Like, oh Lord. I was going to, because I was going to turn off the main camera. I was like, let's just turn it off. We'll just use the side cameras. And yeah. they're like, no, 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 just keep it on so we can get different angles. Yeah. Thank God that you guys yeah. didn't do that because when I was going back to the footage, I was like, what am I going to do? Am I going to tell them like oh my god we have to refilm like i just and everybody has busy lives and like i didn't want to like take time out of people's days but yeah that's my little rap for the day <laughs> enough of that i just kidding. yeah build a bridge no, but, how, but how are you let's catch up i'm good um we're actually pre-filming this guys because we actually have something exciting going on this weekend but we'll get into that but i'm doing good my week has been amazing it's been raining and i feel like everybody's like oh my god the rain please stop but bitch when it comes summer i better not hear you say oh i want the cortito and i want a little caltito with a little psl a little psl <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, I better not hear you bitches complaining. You know, talking about like, oh my God, I wish it would cool down. I just want the leaves to fall. You better shut your bitch ass up, honey. Enjoy it. Because you're complaining right now saying how, oh, it's raining too much. Like, the rain stopped. It's too cold. Like, the only person that should be complaining are me and Ruben. Because we're over here, pure bones and shit. And we're <laughs> rattling, but we're, we're sucking it up. <laughs> Babe, you... Be honest, you're the one saying I'm over this rain. No, I never said you that. You said that yesterday. No, I didn't. Okay, let me tell you the reason why I'm over the rain. It's because of the dogs. I feel bad for them. Well, yeah, that's the reason why. That, that's I, the only reason. A lot of people. I love it. I love the rain. I feel like, ooh, what's that rattling? Is that my little bones? But I have to be careful, fool. Yeah, you be careful, fool. Because like last time I was going to get you something and I almost drowned in a pinchy raindrop. <gasps> you did? I did, fool. In a raindrop? In a raindrop. <laughs> I was like swimming. I thought it was a like Hurricane Harbor and shit. <laughs> well, I'm glad that you're having a good week. <laughs> and I'm glad that you're enjoying the rain because not like 
some of us, we have to drive in the rain, and that's not fun. Girl, don't even talk about driving a truck carrying 12 balloons to your car in the middle of a freaking hurricane. <laughs> I have a lot of energy right now, guys, and I just finished working out, so that's why if I'm, like, ranting a lot, uh, you know what? Why am I Yeah, just cancel it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, okay, so... Um, How was your question? Yeah, I was waiting for that question. This He's all... Uh-huh. So, so my, <laughs> my week's been good uh, we've been having busy 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 days but that's no excuse um it's just been crazy it's just been wor- we've been working out a lot which is so good i'm i'm so happy that you guys are all enjoying it if you guys don't follow us on instagram and tiktok they're all on instagram and tiktok we have been posting a lot of our workout videos which mm-hmm. we i even look back at i'm like okay we can do this again yeah. and do this again because it was a really good workout that day or that week or whatnot yeah. but that's what our week's been um yeah been happening been going on or yeah. that's how our week's been going <laughs> um and yeah a new week a new weekend coming soon a new weekend a new week coming soon damn girl oh wait <laughs> What? What am I saying? He's like, yeah, my day's been good. It's just been Dane, but sometimes the days just feel like it's Dane. And, <laughs> like, uh, and day I'm, and my weekend and my weekend and my weekend. I wish, <laughs> I wish that's how my week was going. My weekend and my weekend and the weekend's I coming. Know. The weekend's coming. The weekend's here. Yeah. But I'm glad. We're both having really, really good weeks. And like we've been saying, we've been working out like crazy. And I'm just so proud of us, baby. Like, yeah, I'm so we've been proud of like us showing up. And I have not complained. Well, well hold on. <laughs> Except for this morning, we both didn't get up. But that's not to hear no day. Oh, well, wow, we're going there right now after yeah. this. So, so yeah, we've been waking up at four a.m. We actually leaving the house at like three forty a.m. to get to the gym, and I just like, dude, I have to show up for myself. And this morning when I woke, like, I woke up at three, and you hit me like, let's go, and I was like, no, and you're like, okay, <laughs> but I couldn't go back to sleep. I was so tired. I I literally was like, man, maybe I should just get up and go. And it was already like four thirty, and I was like, oh shit, no, it's kind of it's kind of getting. But I did work out. I ran a mile today. Oh, good. Yeah, I'm so, glad. Kind of like I'm running my mouth right now. So <laughs> let me shut myself up, bro. Yeah, quick. but this week. So let what happened this week? A lot happened this week, guys. Yeah. So we um, work now. Um, we we got we that's how you know we're in our viejito era. We got into this show called The Trust. <gasps> oh my god! So, okay, hold on. Before we tell you guys, if you guys haven't watched it, skip about like ten minutes of this because <laughs> we're gonna go into the nitty gritty of it. Because girl, that show is so good. <laughs> I know. Yeah, skip to girl. Just just fast forward until you hear us talk. Start talking about love. <laughs> um, but yeah. We got into this show called The Trust on Netflix. I don't know. Is it a new show, right? It's a new show, yeah. Yeah, so basically they have like these, like maybe like 15 strangers in a house. And yeah. there's a trust of a quarter million um, dollars. And basically what they have to do is just, you know, kind of not vote each other out and they can all get a cut. So pretty much like everybody could win. But they start testing your... Um, your trust within one another by giving you guys questions and stuff like that. So that's basically the premise of the show. But then like it goes from like 15 strangers to like five strangers because everybody's just voting each other out. So it's kind of like trust not only like I trust a person, but trust yourself and like learn how to deal with your emotions as opposed to being like, oh, I'm just going to cut this person out because they 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 talked to me wrong. Yeah. Like they start learning to like communicate with one another. Like, yeah. hey, like instead of like, I'm just going to cut them out because they called me a bitch or whatever, mm-hmm. or they... They didn't call him a bitch, but like something like that. They're like, let me talk to him. Like, let's get each other's vo- point of view with both adults. Like, right. sit each other down and communicate. So that's pretty much what the show was about. Yeah, well, yeah. And then I mean, to just to if put more sauce on the tacos, people do um, hide what they are. Like, for example, like yes. people. Some people are rich. Some people are like they're police officers. Some people are. Um, they're like strippers. There are all kinds of different stuff and they don't say what they are yeah. uh, because you obviously don't want to put all your information out on the very first day, right? Because they have to vote every single day. Yes. And every single day is either everybody doesn't vote or someone votes for someone. And if let's say, for example, if I vote Alon out and he gets the top vote, then he's out. So if it's only me voting and I vote for Alon, you only need one vote to vote that person out and yeah. he's out without anything yes. right and then along along the way there's um this thing called the vault where this the girl the the talk show lady she gives them um what is it like a key to go to the vault an option an offer an offer yeah so there's an offer on the line and what the offer does is like says like oh you get fifteen thousand dollars out of the the vault and if you send someone home today or you get ten thousand dollars if you vote someone out today 
um, or if that person doesn't vote or nobody votes, then you have to go home yeah. or whatnot. Like, it's just a lot of crazy stuff, a lot of different options. I'm like, dude, that's fucking crazy. So it keeps you on edge. He finished it all in one day. I did. I couldn't. And I'm a kind of person that if I start a show, I have to finish it. Like, I have to finish it. Yeah. And I was dead tired. So I, the first day I only reached the second episode and then, oh, the third. The... The third episode. The third episode, and then I, the next day, I watched the rest of it. And it was so good. Yeah, and it's just, like, really kind of, like, like nobody has to go home. But, like, it's it's, a, it's basically called The Trust, The Game of Greed. So, pretty much, like, in the beginning, they give you, like, these offers. Like, hey, either uh, you get $30,000, um, but you have to vote somebody out. If nobody votes anybody out, you have to go home. Mm. Or the other option is like input $30 into the trust. Because the trust can go up. So it can go from a quarter million. And then you can add money into that. If you want to be like not greedy and uh, share with uh, the group, you mm. could do that. So you can add money into the... A lot of them are doing that. But as the game goes on, they, it gets trickier. Because then it'll be like, I have an offer for you. But if you open it, you must take it. And some oh, of them yeah. were like cutthroat. Like one of them was like, the, one of the girls was like, I'm taking that shit, girl. Like I, yeah. at the end of the day, like I have to look out to myself because this could be my last day. Like if I don't take this offer, like what if somebody votes me out and I go home with nothing? Exactly. So she opens it and then it says $15,000, but you have to get everybody to send somebody home. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God. And and there was one, like the guy who got 30000 Oh yeah. His was easy. $30,000, but you have to block out other people's votes. Like I would do that. Like Yeah. Oh yeah. Like your vote doesn't count. Your vote doesn't count. Your vote doesn't count, but he didn't know who the, who it oh, was. Yeah. Like yeah. they just flip cards, and the the rep or whatever the talk show lady was the only one that knew yeah. who it was, and obviously she showed the TV. So that was that was cool. But it's good. Like yeah. it's a like it's a good show. And I was telling Ruben like like dude, what would you do? Like if you were like honestly like because you don't have to tell people. You don't have to tell people that you want, like what the offer was. You don't have to like. The guy who got thirty thousand dollars, like he didn't have to tell anybody the offer. He'd just be like, "Oh, like I just declined the offer." And then one of the episodes, they send the girl who took the fifteen thousand. You don't have to go. They set up to like a little resort or something yeah. like that. You could just go back and tell everybody, like, "Oh, the vacation was nice." Like you don't have to tell them that you got an offer. Yeah. But one of the guys, he was so trust, like he was so truthful about everything. Yeah. He went back and he was like, "I declined the offer. Like I, I, I can't betray you guys like that." The girl went back and she was like, "I also declined the offer too." But she was she lying. Took that oh shit. my god. Honestly, I would too, though. Like well, because at the end of the day, like nobody has to know my ass. Nobody has to know my finances. Like that's true. Because nothing was gonna happen to. Like it wasn't like she. She had to go oh she did she had to go back and vote somebody off yeah that was the offer and then there was one guy who was uh, an undercover millionaire but he didn't want to tell anybody oh yeah and then we were kind of bickering about this like because they voted him out because he came out and said oh i'm a millionaire yeah and then they were like well what are you doing here like all of us came from like nothing like well, how did you feel about that well honestly i felt like okay they should everybody has a right to be there right it's it's the point of the game like it's an experience that you're experiencing right but I got your point of view, but my point of view is like, okay, I think it's only fair that everybody has a chance to win this money. That's the whole point of the game, right? Yeah. Uh, but it's not just the money. It's also like their relationships or their experiences or the trust or whatever it is that the the whole theory of the of the game was. Yeah. So I felt at first because he was he was connecting with everybody, everybody, and. As soon as he said, oh, yeah, I'm the millionaire, because at the beginning it says, oh, somebody here is lying about their occupation. Somebody here is mm -hmm. uh, somebody here is a millionaire at the age of 21. Somebody here is, I don't know, just different stuff. Right. And you can they can all decide like, oh, yeah, like we believe it's so and so. And then you can say, like, if it's if it's you, for example, uh, you can say, oh, yeah, like that's me. Or you can say, oh, no, like that's not me. Like I didn't do that. But. That time around, the millionaire, they guessed it was him because obviously he was, you know, he has dressed nice and he had like, like name brand stuff. So they said, oh, it's you, like you're the millionaire. And he's like, oh, I can't, I can't just put my information out like that. So he's like, oh no, it's not me. Why would you guys think that or whatever? Yeah, so he lied about so it. So he lied about it, obviously. And along the whole game, he was doing fine. Like he was building relationships. He was like connecting with other people. And then he's like, I feel at the middle of the game or wherever, he's like, I feel like I need to tell the truth, right? Mm -hmm. So he said the truth. And then the very next day, he got voted out. Yeah. But his, like, they gave him an, they gave him a chance. Like, why should you stay? Like, why should you stay? And he was, and like, he just beat around the bush. Like, if yeah. you're a millionaire, like, you don't need the money. Like, mm -hmm. like, honestly, like, I felt the same way. Like, dude, you're messing with my money. Like, you're going to go home. 
with thirty thousand dollars when you're like a multimillionaire, like that's nothing to you. Right. On top of that, like the way he was like talking, like once he came out, like he was like, now I don't have to hide the fact that I have Versace shoes. Like I know you guys. I know I didn't tell you, but you guys probably got hints because I was wearing my Versace shoes, showing off. Like, he just, like, it kind of switched and that kind of, like, brought out the ugliness. Mm -hmm. All of them had a story of why they were there. Like, right. And he, he, there was no justification for him. It was just, like, I want to build connections and this and that. I was like, well, boy, you're a real estate agent. Like, you should know how to build connections already. You deal with clients every day. Like, mm -hmm. you don't need that. You don't need connections. But you know what I would have done if I was in his shoes? Yes. I would have been like, all right, I'm here to build connections. If you guys keep me in the game, I'll give you guys whatever my share is amongst all of you guys. Keep me in the game. What? That would have been a smart idea. Yeah, because if he's really there for the connections, I would, that's what I would have been like. You guys get to have my share. Yeah, like, oh, he would have, that would have been, I would have kept him. Yeah. Because I would have been like, okay, like if I stay in the game and you're going to give me half of yours, like I, uh, you're staying. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's a good idea. That's you're what, smart. That's what I would have done. I was like, let's play the game. I'm here. And that's what I would have done. Because I know he's there for exposure. He's not yeah. there for the money. Yeah, he's there. True. He's like, I need the exposure. And he could put that on his resume when he's a real estate agent. Like, I was on the trust. Like, mm -hmm. you get to know me a little bit more. You get me more exposure. Ah, that's what smart. I would have done. That was so cute. Okay, and then besides that game. <laughs> I think I like this little life. <laughs> Wait, look at us we're in our little viejito stage like <laughs> us over here having little disagreements about a TV show <laughs> know. okay you know what tell them about okay let's tell them about what else we watched um which one the one with the the horse and the lady or which one oh not that one horse and the lady <laughs> <laughs> which one the vow <gasps> oh my oh you haven't seen that movie no okay but I obviously I always cry on that movie okay so I've seen that movie and I always always cry that one and there's another one uh, My Sister's Keeper I oh love that movie too oh my god that one but this one was all about love so that's why we're love is in the air yes. so let's get into it yeah so we we're kind of get like it's coming up to the towards of Valentine's Day so we're kind of like getting our little romantic era so we watched the vow um, and it, it, everything's gonna tie in together so we watched the vow like like late at night and everyone was like literally bawling his eyes out he's like that's so cute like he's so romantic and this and that it was so cute babe i love that you're so like in tune with your emotions like that's that's something that really really attracted me to you was that you were like crying like you would cry at like when we went to go see coco like you oh, cried yeah. that was one of our first dates we got went to see coco he was oh, yeah. crying i just looked at him and he probably thought like oh this guy's judging me or no whatever. i didn't I didn't but care. i literally was looking at you because i was like damn like Kind of like almost like jealous because I was like, man, I wish I can show my emotions. Like I wish I can be vulnerable like you because I wasn't like in tune with my emotions as I am now. But I used to look at you and be like, fuck, dude, like I wish like that's a man right there. That's a man who's not afraid to show his emotions like and that. I love that about you. Oh, and I you feel like you brought that on me. Now I'm a big ochillon. Like, yeah, no, he is. Okay, so backstory so before like when we were dating he's he never cried never ever ever cried i was the one always crying always crying because i'm not afraid to show my emotions i'll cry if something is touching to me or something like touches my heart i will cry with you like i don't give a shit right so he he said oh yeah i don't cry like he wanted to be the macho man all right like he wanted to but as time as time went along like he obviously cried at our wedding because everybody was saying, oh, he's not going to cry at our wedding. He's not going to cry. So I, I bet you he's going to cry at our wedding. So maybe like a few months before our wedding, he, he started like getting into his feelings and he started getting into his emotions and he started crying, right? And I'm like, for sure, he's going to cry at our wedding. <laughs> so ever since our wedding, I feel like he's a big old chill now. Like he cries for everything and then anything. I love it though. So, yeah, me too. I'm, just, I'm happy that you got out of that macho man kind of feel but okay the day that we watched that movie i had asked him to be my valentine's right oh, yeah so we watched <laughs> it was just like love in the air so we watched that movie right after i i told him because we were lovey dovey blah 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 and then we just sat down turned the fire paint on fireplace on the dogs were there and we were just like vibing right we watched that movie and then you can say your story what was next? Oh, well, I don't know. So after that, after the vow, like I was looking at Ruben and he was just like literally like crying. And Ruben doesn't stay up for any movie. So that movie was like, 
like he was just like crying was, like, <laughs> like every time I hear like, <laughs> like he was crying that is a really cute movie because like he was like he gets to fall he gets oh to like fall over over again <laughs> so I was looking at him and I was like little does he know that tomorrow I have such a big plan for him like Literally, like, he went to work in the morning. He thought I was just vlogging, like, a little day in my life. I surprised Ruben the next day by asking him to be my Valentine. And I wanted to beat him to the punch. I had, like, this whole, like, plan that I was going to do. Um, so he came home from work. I put roses on the floor with little candles. And I filled the whole living room with balloons. I made him one of his favorite dishes that I make, which is agua chiles. And he came home, and he was like, oh, my God, like... What the heck? I cried. Yeah. If you guys haven't watched the video, it's a video right before this one mm-hmm. on Alanti Motel V. Yes. He also has TikTok and Instagrams yes. up. Also, uh, my proposal, uh, you did? Which one? Oh, when yes, he, yes. Yeah. When Ruben's, uh, oh my God. <laughs> not proposal, not proposal. <laughs> my Valentine. Well, you're proposing to be your Valentine. Oh, it is. Huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But tell him the funny story. <laughs> <laughs> what do you fell? No, not, <laughs> not that far. When I first came down. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so he was upstairs when I got home, right? And I had set up everything because I I had came home. I was, I bought everything the day when I was at work, right? And then I had came home and I had a little basket and everything, right? So sometimes he's downstairs when I'm home and sometimes he's upstairs like filming or whatever. So I didn't know what to expect. So I came in and he was upstairs. I'm like, oh, heck yeah. So I I started putting everything on the counter and I did it like two or three times, no lie. And then that day we had to film for a brand. So he came down. He had just took a shower, I guess. He came down in his underwear. (laughs) Oh, I hate myself. <laughs> he came down in his underwear and I filmed him. Like I never and come it, down like that. I guess like he like nothing nothing like connected. Nothing connected to him because he like what the fuck's going on? And he ran back up. He's like, oh my God, oh my God. I did. Because I came down to give him something for the brand deal. I was like, look, we have to go over this. And like, I don't know why I came down in like just my underwear, like no shirt, just, I never walk around like that. And I was like, hey, let me just go give this to him because I need to finish getting ready. And I was like, Oh! And I ran back upstairs and he started laughing. He started laughing. So then I went and like, I got cute or whatever. Cause I was like, dude, if I'm gonna be on camera, like I didn't see, I just saw like little balloons and he had like a little sign. And I was like, oh my God. So I ran back upstairs and then I came down cute. And then like, I saw his whole thing and it just like, it was so freaking cute. I was like, nobody had ever asked me to be my Valentine. And that was our first time us asking I each know, other. I know, without even knowing, like we didn't even know that we were going to ask each other. Like we were like, just yeah go with the flow yeah like we never like on our, we don't really celebrate valentine's day we we show each other love like you know all the time so valentine's day was never like a really big thing for us but this year i don't know like i felt different i felt yeah. like love is in the air yeah so uh yeah that was that was so freaking funny and then when i was coming down to get like my reaction bitch i fucking fell down the <laughs> stairs i literally <laughs> fell down the stairs it would be you babe yeah. like Okay, literally my because you put your damn suitcase right there. Well, yeah, it's because I need I take my suitcase up to my office, <laughs> right? And it was on the stairs, and I would think he would see it, right? Like when you go downstairs, don't you look down up the stairs? Well, not Alanti Motel V. He looks <laughs> up when he's going down the stairs, and he literally fell. If you guys missed that video, go watch it on the TikTok. Is it TikTok? TikTok and Instagram. Yeah, go watch it on TikTok and Instagram. <laughs> but we did. he did post his video on him asking me to be my Valentine or his Valentine. I did good. Uh, you did amazing, baby. And I appreciate you so, so much. It's on YouTube. So it's the video right before this one. Um, so thank you so much. He surprised me. He surprised me for a weekend getaway. Yes. And we're going to vlog that for you guys. Yeah. Tell uh, them where we're going. So we're going to San Diego. So when you guys are watching this, we're still in San Diego. Yes. And it's going to be so amazing because we haven't been to San Diego in like, it had to be like a year. It had to be like months. I don't even know, remember, but it has to be months. And we love going to San Diego. Like every time we go to San Diego, it's like a reset for yeah. us. It's always like a good time. It's going to be along in myself. We're going to go out there. We're just going to vibe out. We're going to... You know, explore new towns, explore new food, explore mm. just the world. Each like Each other. Each other, yeah. <laughs> uh, and I'm so super Adam excited. So, Adam and Eve, if you're watching this, hit my DMs, girl. Hey, I'm there for <laughs> it. Um, but I'm so excited. Like, he's planning everything. I'm just going. Like, this is his trip. Oh, it's our trip, but it's his trip. So, he's planning everything. Um, and I don't even know where we're going. He's also, he's also driving, by the way. Uh, <laughs> uh, you gotta drive. That's all. That's always our tradition is you drive because I look up the food places. I look up like things to do and stuff like that. So you know that's our that's our tradition. 
and I got a vlog. And <laughs> no, it's great. I don't mind driving. Yeah. I mean, but, I, I never said that. <laughs> <laughs> Get that on camera. Screen record and send it to Ruben. It's been raining for like the last two weeks, like nonstop. And this weekend that I chose, it's, it's going to be sunny. And I was yeah. like, oh my God. It, it always works out. So you're going to love it. I love the little house that I got. Mm. It's going to be so cute. And I'm just, I'm just excited. Yeah, you always do so good with Airbnbs. You go over it. Up and over and beyond or whatever, but we literally just need a trip. Like yeah. we just been, uh, you know, thank God we've just been busy after busy after busy. Like it's just been work, 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 which we're grateful for it. So we just need to get away, and it happens to be it's Valentine's weekend yes. uh, or the weekend before Valentine's. So it's Valentine's week, so we're gonna enjoy it, and we're gonna enjoy the time. We're gonna enjoy the sun. We're gonna enjoy everything. Yeah, I'm super so, super excited. I'm super excited. Yeah, so. Yeah, if you guys see us in San Diego, say, what's up, girl? Yeah, say what up. What's poppin'? Because I'm ready. We have a lot of friends in San Diego. Yes. So that's what we're going to pretty much do this weekend, spend week, spend Valentine's Week in San Diego. It's going to be so fun. I already have my yeah. outfits picked out, all cute or whatever. Yeah. Um, but yeah, follow us on Instagram and TikTok to kind of get all of our updates. Because every time we travel, we post a lot of content and stuff like that. So follow us if you want to see what we're doing little food we eat all that good stuff yeah <laughs> but yeah let's go into the questions now so we asked you guys on uh, instagram um and or tiktok or it was it instagram? just instagram uh instagram to ask us questions about you know what what was the question about girl i forgot god you have one job honey no just kidding pretty much ask us stuff about like valentine's day if you guys have any questions um Pretty much anything I put on my broadcast. If you guys aren't following uh, the PML fam on in, on Instagram, follow it because you guys get all of our updates. You guys are first to see our YouTube videos. You guys are first to see bedheads. Um, so that's yeah, my first um, to see our body. I'm oh, just girl. kidding. <laughs> what do you and Ruben do when you feel like you guys want to switch it up? Oh, mm. switch what up, girl? Like you know, switch each other up in the bed. Or so pretty much, like I guess I'm interpreting that question of like, how do you guys like kind of keep the fire going? Oh, okay. Like. I'm assuming that's what you just said. Or who's the top or who bottom? Which one is it? Not just kidding. <laughs> yeah, when you guys want to like switch it up, like kind of like, you know, catch each other off guard, keep the fire going and stuff like that. So pretty much um, like stuff that like what we just talked about, like Ruben didn't know that I, I surprised him with the trip. So like little getaways and stuff like that. Or for me, it's like, you know, surprising Ruben with like little romantic dinners at home. Because that's one of Ruben's favorite things is like he loves when I cook for him and stuff like that. Um, so I like to do that, um, you know, boil him like emotionally and with my love. Um, and that, that's pretty much it. Like just do spontaneous, spontaneous things and try to get him out of his head. Sometimes if he's ever stuck in his headspace, uh, by doing little trips or dinners or whatever the situation is. Yeah. Like piggybacking off of that. Like I, I just call me fat. Um, so I try to remember and it's, it's difficult. If you guys been together for a very long time and you guys are busy, um, it's hard to do this kind of stuff. Well, it's not hard. I mean, we just have to work on it. Where you have to remember the things that you guys used to do when you guys were dating. That you guys try food. Food was the main thing for us, right? Mm -hmm. We would try food, different different food, different places. Um, I try to like surprise you with roses, which was your favorite flowers. Um, I try to just be there like physically and be there and not just be on your phone and not just you know just do little cute things for you um to reset to yeah you know and then little trips like go, little getaway trips like that's amazing for both of us we love to travel and why not go to one of our favorite places yeah that's that's what we do we really pay attention to each other we really like go into tune because i'm very simple like literally like i am the most like simple guy ever i might not like come off like that but i'm very like give me like a little card and i'm happy like i remember one time uh, like when i was first starting like social media like i was so excited to like show off like my skincare routine or whatever and not that like numbers or anything count and i was just beginning but like nobody like liked it or cared about it or anything like that like i know this sounds dumb but let me just get to the point point. and i remember one time like i still have this like image in my head like i laid on your lap or on the couch and you were like playing with my hair and you were like so babe go over your skincare routine with me and like literally like that made me cry like i went i was like i looked at you and i was like oh, yeah. like i didn't ask him but i was like like what he was like yeah go over your skincare routine like your skin looks good like i want to know like i was like what and you were just like playing with my hair and i was, like we were genuinely interested and like that and i was like what like that was so cute like i literally looked at you like what like you want to know like 
okay yeah. and you were just like like listening to me as i rambled away about like my skincare and i was like i always have that picture or that 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 moment in my head like that was like such a cute little moment or you know every day you text me wish like we've been doing that ever since yeah, we we've we've um started dating like every day at 11 11 a.m ruben texts me wish or i text him wish yeah. and every single day every single day and if we miss it like I, i'll try to remember or whatever and we just text each other that yeah that, it's just a simple reset yeah you know it's a simple reset like at 11 11 like wish and then you make a wish it's like every day is your birthday because every day you can wish something and every day is coming true yeah. going back to basics yeah is remembering because we obviously grew with each other right um and then remembering going back to the things that matter the most when yeah. we fell in love with each other. Yeah. So that's, that's, a, it. that's, that's how we kind of keep the, the fire going. And we we're very vocal about it. Like yeah. we're very like, we, like going into this relationship. Like we were try we talk about stuff like that. Like let's keep the fire going. Let's spice it up. Let, let's fight for each other. And right. this year we, we promise each other. Like if you go on our New Year's video, we, we, we say on the video, like, we promise to show up not only for ourselves, but for each other and to become even better husbands to one another. And we're doing that, like, you know, by keeping the fire going of like, you know, me surprising Ruben with asking her to be my Valentine, even though we've been together for seven years and him doing it to me, like we were both thinking at the same time. So just, you know, kind of keeping each other on our toes and like, what? like, this is so like, like random like doing spon yeah. being very spontaneous we've always been very s spontaneous people so mm -hmm. yeah what are new adventures y'all want to try this year mm. Ooh. oh that's interesting because you just talked about this yeah so alan was talking about like we should do like rock climbing. oh rock yeah climbing, or we should do like parachute what is parasailing it? no, no per oh uh, jumping off a pair jumping off an airplane what is I, oh um Girl, what is that one called? What's it called, guys? Ah, just kidding. Uh, skydiving. Skydiving. Yeah. And I'm so down for it. Like, I feel like this year, we might just do all that I stuff. I know. Why not? Like, why not? Why not? But oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, because I feel like we're both um, kind of, like, leaving the partying scene. Which we still like to have party. But, like, now that we're, like, on this health kick and, like, we're losing weight. Like, dude, I was like, dude, let's go skydiving. Let's yeah. go on ATVs. Like, I, I love shit like that. Like, when we yeah. went to Cancun, like, I love zip lining. I love uh, ATV riding. I love going to the cenotes and all that yeah. stuff. So, yeah. I'm very adventurous like that. Like, I eat shit like that. Like, <gasps> let's do it. Yeah, so I want to do that. Like, I really want to get in tune with, like, my manly side. Um, and just kind of, like... um be more adventurous. Yeah. I don't think I could do parasailing because I'm afraid that we're going to fall from the... Into the water. And then the, a whale's going to eat me. <gasps> like, I'm just scared. Yeah, no. I'm I, terrified I of the ocean. No, I, me too. If I can't see under me, then I'm scared. Oh, hell no. So, I don't know how people jump into lakes. Yeah, I can't do that either. But I'm, I'm down to do that this year. I feel like when we were bigger, I felt like going skydiving was super scary for me because I'm like, I'm going to fall straight down. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like so. the parachute, you're not going to have time. You're not going to even have time to do the parachute. Like, well, we've never seen anybody fall that fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but now I feel like I'm, I'm okay. Like, I feel like I, I'm getting... <gasps> we should do that for our one year. <gasps> Maybe, we'll see. Oh my God. Our one year? We all agreed it's going to be our three years, we, Mary. We won't be here. That's why, because we have, we already have a... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, we already have a trip. Yeah, that's what we want to do. Uh, little adventures like that. We want to go to Mexico again. Yes. Um, and just do like the, like being in the nature. Like if you guys go to Cancun, they have like the excursions where yeah. you go to like zip lining and cenotes and stuff like that. So I love, love, love stuff like that. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Uh, what is your love language? <gasps> I wonder who asked me that. What is your love language? Uh, what is yours? Mine is. Okay, what okay, say say all of them? What are what are the love languages? Girl, love languages. What is it to you? How do you feel? People show you love. How do you love your love? How do you like to receive love? Okay, so what is the right verbiage for it? Because I don't even know the right verbiage. I just know what I like. Ah, oh, he's like I like block blocks. No, <laughs> so love language is pretty much how you like your love received. Like, do you want me to go first? Yeah. So pretty much like my love language is um, like physical touch. Like I love like whenever you see me like in my head like you just like grab my thigh or you grab my my hand or, or your double chin. I'm like, oh no you speed back <laughs> my double chins but that's my love language is like physical touch because i feel like i always yearn for that like i always wanted that like like i would never be a hugger i was never a hugger till like i met you like really yeah like i didn't like i i, I felt like growing up like we did my family we didn't do that like we didn't mm. hug each other we didn't you know 
really tell each other I love you and stuff like that. So I feel like now older and I have like um, you in my life and you, you're you very touchy-feely. Um, I feel like you opened up that door where like, like anytime like I feel down or I feel like in my head, like you know to like, you know, hold me and hug me and I just feel like safe and I feel like that's my love language. Mm, that's so cute. Mm-hmm. And that's strange because your family now... I love to hug. Yeah. And, you know, we tell them we love them all the time. But what would yours be? Uh, I don't know the, the, the word of it, but I think, um, like, um, what is it? Money? Um, oh, I, I feel for them. Like, no, you're not, actions, don't ever like, say that. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. What is it? Like, like, you say like actions speak louder than your words, yeah. I guess. Like, little unexpected uh, gestures that people do yes. for you. Like, no, Well, not even for me. I also do them, do it for them. Yeah. So, like, Yes, you're, you're on the right path. Like, just do it out of the kindness of your heart, and just do it because you want to do it. Don't expect it back, but just do it because you want to do it. And I love to receive that as well because it goes back to like fifty-fifty. Like, I do it, you do it, you do it, I do it. You know, mm. and I enjoy, I love when you know I come home and our house is clean and you know there's dinner ready and you know like I I truly appreciate because it's not easy like I was once home too and I also had to clean and cook and all that stuff and I appreciate when it's done you know yeah so that's my love language aside from the touch as well I love when you're touching me and you're hugging me and you're with me and I love that yeah so I love growth like I love how we just both grow together and both like just want to conquer the world. Yeah, know? girl, we're going to I'm telling you, this is our year. We're going to be a we're going to be a power couple. Like we already are a power couple. What are your ways you and Ruben do that don't cost money to show each other appreciation? Yeah. Kind of like what we said already. Yeah. That's, those are cute. I love those. Mm. I love the cost less money. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a big saver, but I it's because okay, I love to save in some areas, but I love to spend in some areas. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, but I love the little stuff, like the smaller stuff. Like, write me a note, write me a letter, mm-hmm. tell me that you love me, hug me, uh, I don't know, cook me a dinner. Like, yeah. Like, I love cooking breakfast. Like, I love the smallest things yeah. in the world, you know? Um, but yeah, those are costless. Yeah. And I, I do that for Ruben. Like, there was this one time where I was leaving for a trip or something. Like, I don't know where I was going. And like you would open things and there'll be little notes in there. Like if you get hungry, here's dinner. Or you or you open up your, your side drawer and there'll be like something like you need to relax, here's a candle, turn it on. Like like little remember that? That was so cute. Like you came home and then like there was food waiting for you and you opened up the fridge and I was like, enjoy dinner. And I'm not gonna be here for the next couple of days. So I I marinated some chicken for you. Because Ruben's a big chicken person. I'm so- I remember that. Yeah. And I love that. I love, 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 love. I think you were gone for the weekend. Or I forgot. I was going on a trip. for. I don't know where I yeah, was going. I forgot where you're going to, but you were gone for the weekend and I was home and he left like little notes like, oh, like good morning in my drawer or whatever, or my toothbrush or whatever. Places or, he would normally check. Yeah. Like, oh, my bag or whatever. Like, and he just left me cute notes. I love that. I, yeah. I know. I know. Oh, you know I'm a little oh, cutie tootsie or whatever. Um, but that's our, our way to show each other like love language. Like ways um of appreciation yeah or i love like you'll just text me randomly just thinking about you hoping you have a great day like oh, little that. texts like that like you have no idea like how much that would like change because I mean, you always send it like on the perfect day like i have days where like i'm like dude like there's so much going on in my head like I, and I, i'll cry and i'll literally receive a message like i just want to let you know that like i appreciate you and you're doing an amazing job and i'm so proud of the person that you become and i literally will like ball because he has no idea like that text message at that moment Moment was much needed and it was, it was so perfect so, okay let me ask you this um do you still get butterflies when i you receive a text or a call from me yes <gasps> me I do. too I'm like why is he calling me okay it's corny but i still do like every time like every time you send me a screenshot especially a screenshot of something like my heart just drops i don't know why i think it's just like oh my god we won the lotto or something yeah. like every time you send me a screenshot because you're obviously uh experiencing it and then you want me to experience it with you so you take a screenshot of whatever oh, yeah. you're reading and i'm like oh my god like it's my heart just stops yeah like it sinks and then i get butterflies every time i get a message from you or a call from you like especially when you call me because you don't really call me as much we normally just like text all day um and then when we're home we just talk about our day right yeah. uh unless there's something going on like someone's coming to the house or whatever yeah. then he'll call me um but yeah, I I love 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 when I get messages yeah. from you. 
But what do you guys do that doesn't cost money for yourself or others? Yeah. And then let's. And, oh, go ahead. And what is your what is your um if you do have a partner if you do have a husband or wife what are you guys doing for Valentine's Day? I know. I want to know. be freaking nosy rosy and know. But leave it in the comments. We want to know exactly what you guys are doing or what do you guys have planned for your for your significant other. Yeah. Um, are you taking them on a trip? Are you buying them something special? Mm-hmm. Are you a lot of people like get engaged around this time? So what are you guys doing? Like we yeah. want to know. Last one. This one. Let's end it on a good one. Okay. Your guys' favorite chocolate candy for Valentine's Day, or your favorite, or your favorite date night meal. I haven't had chocolate in a long time. Um, I think it would have to be Reese's. Really? I don't think I've ever seen you eat a Reese's. I, it would have to be Reese's. <laughs> I don't think I've ever... I, don't, I haven't ate chocolate in a very long time. Yeah. Um, mine would have to be uh, either uh, Twix or uh, Mr. Good Bar. <gasps> Mr. Good yes, Bar. Yes, girl. Especially when you like freeze them a little bit and they're kind of like... Like kind of like crunch. crunchy. Yeah, I love when I freeze. Like if you guys are into that, but like freezing. <laughs> freezing your toes. <laughs> <laughs> no, like freezing a recess. Oh, so good. Or freezing a Mr. Good Bar is. I don't know about Twix. I don't think I've ever frozen a Twix. Yeah. I don't think I would do that one. But a Mr. Good Bar and a um, recess frozen. Girl, try it out. And let me know if you guys do that too in the comments because that is so freaking good. Like, ooh, I think I'm craving one right now. <gasps> Ooh. Should we go get one? Um, oh, off camera, because we're on a diet. We're, ta- we're, <laughs> we're, we're, we're all talking about going to the gym. <laughs> we are. <laughs> Let us know down in the comments, like Ruben said, what are your guys' plans for Valentine's Day? And yeah, guys, I think that's our, our episode for yeah, today. Yeah, we got to wrap it up. So what are you going to do this week? Oh, yeah. Thank you, <gasps> Mr. Ruben Hernandez host. Um, this ho. <laughs> uh, well, this week... Um, after recuperating from San Diego, oh, I'm all pissed. Um, this week after recuperating from San Diego, continue hitting the gym, continue showing up for myself, and continue showing up for us. And that's pretty much. I don't think there's anything really eventful going on next week that I could think of mm-hmm. that we have going on. Just the highlight is going to the gym, and yeah. that's pretty much it. Film bedheads, and yeah. yeah. What about yours? What do you want to do this um, week? This week, I want to. Yeah. I just can't imagine. No, I don't know. Like this week, I want to continue to. I have a good one, but I just forgot what it was. Um, this week, I just want to continue doing what I'm doing, like you know, filming for uh, bedheads, obviously. Um, but we want to continue to go to the gym, um, continue to. I don't know. Continue my journey. Like I just feel like we are on a good start with our journey, and we are killing it. We sure are, honey. We're doing the damn thing. But yeah, guys, let us know if you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, it was it was fun filming this one. Yeah, I liked it. it. Um, but I hope you guys have an amazing Monday. Drive safe. Hopefully it's not raining on this Monday that you guys are watching this. Um, have an amazing Valentine's Day. And from us to you, we love you guys. Yes. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and share with your auntie, your your tío, your, your tía, vecino. your vecino, your, uh, your yoga instructor, your Sancho. Um, and yeah, uh, um, we love you guys from the bottom of our heart. Thank you for all the love and support that you constantly show us on the daily, whether it's under bedheads, whether it's on our other YouTube videos, our social medias. We love you. We see all the comments. We see all the DMs. We appreciate you guys. And we never want you to get swept under the rug that we don't appreciate you guys. You guys are the reason, one of the main reasons of why we're here to have this platform. And we love you guys. And um, we just want to let you know that, guys. Because love is in the air, fool. Love so now that we're showing air. love to one another, we want to show love to you, fool. Orale. Yeah, and don't forget that we are doing a giveaway. Uh, if we reach 5,000 yes. subscribers on this channel, so we're <laughs> going to do uh, a giveaway. So yes, we, make, mm-hmm, go ahead. we are wanting to hit, we're super close. We want to hit 5K. Yes, 5K. My little baby step, my little stepping stone. Yeah, so make sure you guys are in the PLM fam and on my on my Instagram. That's how you're going to know who is uh, going to win the giveaway and all of that good stuff. I'm going to make you guys a custom sweater, um, but yeah. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Have an amazing day. Show up for yourself this week. And remember, today's a great day. To have a great day. All right, guys. Bye. My little bio is like, hi, I'm Paul.